Hey guys, we are back with some more New York Islanders franchise mode, and in this one we are in the round number three against the Tampa Bay Lightning, so let's check out their lines as usual. First line, JT Miller, Steven Stamkos, Nikita Kucherov. Second line, Mikhail Bakker, Tyler Johnson, Taylor Radish. Third line, Alex Kalorn, Charlie Coyle, Jacob Silverberg. And fourth line, Boris Katschuk, Anthony Sorelli, and Alexander Volkov. Defensively, Hedman, Sergachev, McDonough, Bowie, Shen, and Tanev. And then goaltenders, Vasilevsky and Dell, scratched Arpelik and Hinestroza. So there you go. There at the Tampa Bay Lightning. Let's get right to it. Game number one. On home ice as we did win the President's Trophy. Home ice throughout the playoffs. So here we go. First period. All right. Goal by Oliver Wallstrom. Absolutely continues his hot streak. He just... He's, this, this man is not stopping. He's just not stopping with a goal on Vasilevsky. Second period. There you go. Bennett Strite with a goal. But Nikita Kucherov also on John Gibson. So here we go. Third period. One goal lead. We should get another here just to play it safe. And, okay, there you go. Matt Burzell, there you go. Matt Burzell and Otis. Oh, my goodness. We're going back and forth here. Seesaw action in the past two minutes. Uh, <laughs> two goals by Kaloran, a goal by Otteson, and a goal by Burzell. Can we hold on? Come on, please. Please. <laughs> Kucherov with the game tying goal with 19 seconds remaining. Are you kidding me? Well, as usual, we're not going to go into the uh, live action overtime as it's only game uh, only game one. So <laughs> it's a little too early. So we're going to just go into it. And it pays off Andreas Mueller, the overtime hero for your New York Islanders. There you go. That is what I like to see in game number one. 5-4 overtime victory for your New York Islanders. And Wallstrom with 12 goals. In 13 games and 23 points. What a beast. What a beast. <laughs> All right. First period, game number two, nothing doing. Okay. 13 shots to six, though. Don't like to see that. Second period, still nothing doing. Wow. All right. Here we go. Third period, <laughs> still goose eggs on the board. Tampa with a five on three. What are you idiots doing? Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. There you go. Nice kill. Hopefully we get some momentum from those great kills that we just had. Come on now, five minutes remaining. Oh man, this is close. This is really close. Wow, a scoreless regulation between Tampa Bay and New York. Hmm. All right, well, it's only game number two. Again, <laughs> for this very reason of this being the second overtime this series, I'm not going into this overtime for the live action. I'll do that in game five, six, and seven. Or four if we, by chance, go up 3 nothing, But we'll save that for when that happens, if that happens. So, here we go. Overtime, game two. And it's it ends right away with a goal by Tyler Johnson. So, each overtime we've had so far, the, both of the overtimes we've had have ended pretty much immediately. So, uh, it's not that, you know, I, I wouldn't guess that fatigue is set in yet for either of these teams. Especially not for us, since we've only had... 14 games so far. Although it might carry over from the last series since we went to seven and not one, so you never know. But all right, here we go. Game three in Tampa Bay, first period. All right, I'll take it. Stamkos on Gibson, but then Andres Mueller on Vasilevsky. Second period. All right, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Bennett Strite with the goal on Vasilevsky. Up one goal, two to one. In game number three. Let's go up 2-1 in the series now, boys. That would look pretty nice, would it not? <laughs> Power play, 15 minutes remaining, nothing doing. Ragnarsson on Vasilevsky, that's what I'm talking about. Two Up two goals now, 3-1, to one, halfway through the third. Come on, come on. Five minutes remaining, nothing doing just yet. And we have this game in the bag with Durat with the empty netter. Very nice. All right, up 2-1 now are the New York Islanders. Not going to get too excited just yet because we've been past this point before. Remember last year we had, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we had a lead in the third round last year and we lost. 
So, not going to get too excited till we <laughs> see that we are off to the Stanley Cup Finals. So, here we go. First period. Ooh. Not what you'd like to see. Edmonds, Silverberg, Stamkos, and Johnson on Gibson, and then Hutchinson got in there. So, got quite the mountain to climb here. Second period. All right, I'll, I'll take it. Ottoson with the goal on Vasilevsky. Still got a lot to do, though. We got a lot of work to do here in the third period, and they're out shooting us like crazy. 34 to 14 are the shots. Let's get it going. <laughs> Let's do something. All right, Commodore. Commodore on Vasilevsky. Uh, oh, Sergeyev. Of course, on Hutchinson. And then, okay, Ottoson. Back to two goals. We scored in the past two shots. <laughs> so maybe no, Taylor Radish. Uh, oh, my Commodore again. Hello. Okay. We have three goals this period. It would have been nice if we held on to, you know, <laughs> instead of letting in two goals. But yeah, if, if we had held on, not letting the single goal that period, that would have been, that could have been a tie game. But no, we, we will, I believe, is that a uh, two to two tie? Yes, that is a two to two series tie. So going into game number five now, tied two to two. And I'm not worried. I'm really not. We just have to play solid because we've seen what we can do when we when we play solid, but we've also seen what we play like when we don't. So here we go. Game number five. I like these current lines. I'm keeping it the way it is. First period. Okay, I'll take it. Andres Miller, I'll definitely take it. On Andre Vasilevsky. Second period. All right, I'll take it out as well. Oliver Wallstrom continues to be hot in these playoffs. And Mikael Bonker on John Gibson. Up 2-1 on the New York Islanders going into the third. Come on, boys. This would be huge. This would be huge. Power play for Tampa Bay. They don't convert. Good. Very good. Nice kill. Maybe get some momentum off that kill now, boys. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Ha more than halfway through the third now. It's still nothing doing. <laughs> it's getting close. It's getting close. You're really playing with fire here in New York. Uh, yes, Wallstrom with the empty netter. We go up 3-2. Okay. Again, we've been past this point before, though. So <laughs> I'm not getting excited until it's for sure that we are going to the Stanley Cup Finals. Up 3-2 in Tampa Bay. Come on. Just, just do what you know how to do. It, it shouldn't be... <sighs> just get it done. First period. Okay. I'll take it. Bowie with a goal on Gibson. But then, Ottoson... Is also hot. Gets the goal on De Ooh, Dell. Dell. This is an important game, boys. Dell is in net. Second period. Yes. Bennett Stroy on Dell. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. We're up 2-1. One. one more period in this game. If we can win this game, we will be off to the Stanley Cup Finals. Please, boys. Please. Shots are 21-19. In favor of the New York Islanders. Come on. It's so even right now. Ah, Miller. I knew it. I knew it. You knew this first line of the Tampa Bay Lightning was going to strike, but Mueller with a goal on Dell. All right. Okay. Please. Nice kill, boys. Four minutes remaining. It's so close. Two. One. We're going to the finals, baby. <laughs> Yes, the Islanders have improved pretty much every year here. We got to the third round last year. I believe we got to the second round the year before that. The first round the year before that. And now we are in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's go. And we're going to be facing the Dallas Stars. Oh, boy. <laughs> 28 points for Wall Street. My goodness. All right. Well, we didn't have much of a break there, unfortunately, because <laughs> the Dallas Stars... Swept their opponents, and I believe it was the St. Louis Blues. So, <laughs> getting right to it, in the final are the Stars and your New York Islanders. So let's check out the stats real quick since this is a relatively quick video. We're only roughly a minute, 11 minutes in. So, uh, player stats, let's see. Yep, Walsh from Berzelt. Jeez. They're just dynamite together. I mean, they really are. <laughs> That's beautiful. Bennett Streit as well, Mueller, Commodore. Th these guys, you can't forget these guys. They're having fantastic 
uh, postseasons as well. But I mean, these guys just uh, these two, Wallstrom and Burzell, they are on fire. And Ragnarsson's having a solid playoffs as well. Riley as well. Uh, Ottoson, nine goals. I mean, geez. That's what, third on our team? <laughs> For a third or fourth liner? And then Shea with eight assists. Pulik with seven. Hosang with six. He was key. Uh, Taves with five. Cizek with five. Beauvillier with four. Durat with two goals. Dobson with two. Uh, Bodie Wild with one. And then Jankowski with one. Uh, Pavelski hasn't played, Graba hasn't played, Dezingle hasn't played since the second round. So, overall, very solid series. Uh, plus nine for Morgan Riley. Let's see, shots, I mean, 102 for Wallstrom. <laughs> oh my goodness, 102 shots in 18 games? Are you kidding me? That's over five shots a game. He's averaging over five shots a game. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta see this here 102 divided by 18 what is this what is this equal it's definitely more than five it's 5.6667 goals or uh, shots per game <laughs> wow what an absolute monster is oliver wallstrom so and he's shooting 13.6 it's not like those are bad shots those are quality shots that he's getting <laughs> oh my and Bennett Strike with 40, is in second with 47. Oh, man. But at least Strike is also keeping up this, that shooting percentage. 21.3 shooting percentage on 47 shots. I mean, we have... This is such a good team. This is such a good team. <laughs> I love it. Face-offs, I mean, we're... Yeah. Fantastic. Barzell doing amazing. Commodore, amazing. Beauvillier, Great. Taves, pretty good as well. Jankowski, not as good, but still good. So, I mean, I mean, he's basically at 50%. Then hits Duret, Pulik, Riley, and Shea all in the 30s. Looking very good. Giveaways and takeaways. I'm not really concerned about it at this point because we just took care of the Tampa Bay Lightning. We took care of the Pittsburgh Penguins. And we took care of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And now... All that's left in our way is the Dallas Stars. So with this, I guess I'll end it off here. It's been a pretty short one, but I'm glad that it was a short one. I'll say that much. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one when we face the Dallas Stars in the Stanley Cup Finals. See you guys then.